customer service. Spot the smart service seconds. All what we are going to learn here, identify the crucial seconds in providing a great service and provide the best possible service in a challenging environment. Friends, have you all ever been customers in your lifetime? Yes or no? Yes. yes. How many times? Yes, Ryan, how many times? Many a times, countless number of times, Ryan. They say if you are a person who is 40 years old, you had gone through this experience easily over 200,000 times. Provided that you are 40 years old. Oh, Ryan, don't get excited. No, you're not that old. You're 20 plus. You got excited. No, no, 40. 20 plus. Okay, none of us, I don't think we have ever reached age 40 still. <laughs> right? So all are 20 plus. So if you are 40 years old, recently you had gone through this experience over 200,000 times. So by now, since we all are 20 plus, easily we had gone through this experience over how many times? 100,000 times. From the time you are born to this world until you die, you are a service recipient of another. Just the moment that you are born to this world, you are a service recipient of a totally an unknown man. It could be a doctor or a sister, you know how carefully they take you out from the mother's womb and then ex extend every care possible for you to have the first breath in. So just the moment that you are born to this world, you are a service recipient of a, a totally an unknown hand in the form of a baby. Thereafter, you are being handed over to your parents. There you became a service recipient in the form of a child, of a parent. They looked after us with a lot of tender loving care. In turn, we gave them joy. And what happened? We started schooling. There we became a service recipient in the form of a student. Whenever you get into a bus, a cab, a train, a plane, a ship, you become a service recipient in the form of a passenger of that transport service provider. When you go to a supermarket, a grocery, pharmacy, a bank, you become a service recipient in the form of a customer. When you come to a hotel, you become a service recipient in the form of a guest. When you go to a hospital, you become a service recipient in the form of a patient. When you go to watch a match, a drama, you become a service recipient in the form of a spectator. Right now, every one of you in this training program, you have become service recipient in the form of participants. Whatever the name that you are being called from the time you are born to this world until you die, you are a service recipient of another. In our last experience too, we become a service recipient in the form of a body of an undertaker. But the uniqueness in that experience is you don't feel the experience that you go through. You agree? <laughs> so except the last experience, the rest you, had, rest you had gone through enough and more times. Only experience that you had not gone through is the last experience. And none of us are in a hurry to go through that. And had you gone through even that, you really do not know how you had been <laughs> treated. Dear friends, all of you, you had gone through this experience of being a customer enough and more times in your life. So far in your life, you as a customer... When I had walked into an organization either to purchase a product or a service, the experience that you had gone through easily can be classified into three. Number one, you walked into an organization with a lot of expectations. And from the time you stepped in there, you got a wonderful service. And having received that service, you leave the place as a happy customer. How would a happy customer demonstrate his joy? You walked into an organization with a lot of expectations and from the time you stepped in there, you got a wonderful service and having received that, you left as a happy customer. How would a happy customer demonstrate his joy? Yes, Nadika, smile, simple as that. You walked into an organization with a lot of expectations from the time you stepped in there, you got a wonderful service and having received that service here, you are leaving the institution with a huge smile in your face. Isn't it? Right. Number two. You walked into an organization with average expectations. And from the time you stepped in there, all what you got was a kind of an average service. You didn't get anything more, you didn't get anything less. What you got was an average service. And having received that average service, you left the institution as a neutral customer. You are neither happy nor unhappy. 
Now, how does such a person demonstrate its failure? Neither happy nor unhappy. Yes, simple as that. Great. Okay. Neither happy nor unhappy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then go on. Tight lips. Okay, tight lips. Friends. Thirdly, you walked into an organization with a lot of expectations. From the time you stepped in there, nothing went right, everything went against. And then finally, you left that institution as a person who really got angry. Now, how does such a person demonstrate its anger, annoyance, agitation? How? Yes. Frustration. Yeah. It's frown. Half a tomato cut twice. And then turn upside down. And then you stand on it kind of a feeling, isn't it? Now, those are the three scenarios that you go through. You walked into an organization with a lot of expectations. From the time you stepped in there, you got a wonderful service. And having received that, you leave as a happy customer. Or you walked into an organization with average expectations. From the time you stepped in there, all what you got was an average service. And having received that, you leave as a neutral customer. You walked into an organization with a lot of expectations, but nothing happened. From the time you stepped in there, everything went against. And then finally, you leave as a kind of an angry Good friends, you all agreed with me a while ago that we all had gone through this experience of being a customer enough and more times in our lives. Now you tell me. You as a customer so far in your life, when you had walked into an organization either to purchase a product or to get a service, out of those three scenarios, what is the most commonly experienced scenario? First one or the second one or the third one? Everybody please, come on. Often we walked into an organization either to purchase a product or a service with average expectations. And from the time we stepped in there, all what we get is a kind of an average service. And having received that, dear friends, we leave with this kind of a face. Right. Isn't it the way how we walked into this training program also? <laughs> Yet another training program of providing service to the customer. Anyway, go, go. Luckily, it's been held on a weekday. <laughs> Office had paid the money. <laughs> We have been nominated. Go. And we are going to a five-star environment. Stay relaxed. And then, yes, we had been learning about this subject enough. And however much you try to give a customer a good service, a phrase, phrase had never been we had got. So therefore, still, it's OK. Go, go, go. Sit at a corner, listen. The times that we are feeling like sleep, other times laugh. And at least enjoy the lunch and then evening go. <laughs> now, many a times, my people who come for this training program, they come in anticipation of this. But I have a responsibility to do it like this and then. Now, would you all agree with me again that this is what often we get and what is the human nature? Human beings are being designed in a manner what they get only they will 